Okay guys, this is just an update on this MPPT solar charge controller here I bought from AliExpress a while back. As I told you, I have opened this dispute with them because the charge controller shows different numbers in the app than you actually measure with your ampere meter. So I decided to open this dispute and ask for a refund for this whole charge controller because I'm not sure how far I can trust these numbers if they are not correct. So you never know if it overcharged then the battery or over discharged the battery. I said, well, that's not really safe to use this device because we don't know what kind of numbers are correct because only the battery voltage is correct so far. So dispute has been claimed with AliExpress and they actually approved it. So I'm getting a full refund, but I have to send this device back. And I said, well, to China? And they said, no, no, to New South Wales here in Australia. So they've got local addresses in each country apparently where you can return your items from AliExpress. And they also have provided a free tracking tracking number uh, return label from the Australia Post. So I printed this already. I'll put this all back in the box. There's nothing damaged, nothing scratched. I've used it for about a week now and everything goes back in the box. And tomorrow I'll post this one back for a full refund. So I have to look elsewhere. I have to look for a different solar charge controller for our 24 volt lithium iron battery for the solar gate. I can use the WPM controller here, which is, I think, the best solution at the moment. This is $35. This was $100. And this does exactly the same. It may not be that efficient, but you know, it's for the solar gate. I'm not after every single ampere hour I can harvest each day. The batteries are big enough to store some energy even if it's cloudy or rainy like today outside. So it should be good for at least a couple of days and then the sun will be back anyway. And it's not like we're getting these bad weathers like in Europe where you don't have any solar, any solar energy at all, you know. There's always something coming and there's always the sun a little bit shining. It may be a little bit cloudy, but you know, it's not that bad. I just wanted to take some final screenshots of the app and of what's going on just in case. But um, I opened the app and nothing connects so I have to add the device again. There it is, confirm. And then we can see the red light is flashing, it's communicating then and then we get information after a couple of seconds. There we go. Charge not ready, it says, because the voltage on the char on the solar panel is only 12.4, and the battery is 13. So, of course, it's not charging now. Yeah, I'll probably take a screenshot of that here. I've got all this, the serial numbers in there. I've also seen the record it takes uh, cannot be correct because sometimes it claims the battery charge ampere hours is 18 ampere hours per day. Remember, this is only a 7.2 ampere hours and it's may, it may have a sticker from my last measurement, it doesn't. But I think I remembered this one has only 4.5 ampere hours so far. So, <laughs> how can you actually push 18 ampere hours into the battery, which has only 4.5 ampere hours? I've got sometimes some loads on it here, but you know, sometimes I'm just at work and I don't use the battery at all, it just charges. But they're claiming 18 ampere hours day before. So it says 18 ampere hours every day. The min and max voltage are changing depending on what day I select, but the charging ampere hours are staying at 18. See, this is this is all is all cheap stuff, not ready for prime time. This is this is all not working correctly. I think this is not good enough. It is not good enough. The app should just work. It should measure the ampere hours correctly and not showing me 18 ampere hours for each day of the last seven days since I have it on here. Everything else is changing but not the ampere hours I have charged into it. How can I trust this device though? Anyway, we've got the free return label from AliExpress, so thank you very much. Great service. I've claimed this one yesterday and today it was already approved and decided, so this is all good. I don't need to 
I don't need to talk to the Chinese manufacturer of this device or the Chinese shop anymore because they have no freaking idea about charging at all. And then I had a sorry we missed you card in my mailbox today because the courier was here and wanted to deliver two boxes to me and I was at work. Well, guess what is in these boxes? Exactly, that's the Carlotta delivery. And now we are, because we are living a little bit outside of town here, they are not doing a second delivery. I cannot, I cannot reschedule the delivery of these boxes. So I need to pick them up and the nearest, the closest depot they have is in Brisbane. <laughs> so I need to drive 80 kilometers to Brisbane to pick up the batteries and then back. I need to wait until Friday until I've got a day off. Um, I just connected the larger solar panel here to my charge controller. So it claims we are getting 0.2 amps from the solar panel and it pushes 0.47 amps into the battery. Well, I'm getting 10 to 20 milliamps into the battery at the moment. This is all. Totally wrong these numbers. Um, yeah. Here it is. Okay, I just double check with my other multimeter, and this one tells me we've got nine, well, nine millivolts, ten millivolts, and this is what this meter tells me as well. Okay, now it's doing MPPT charge mode. It claims it pushes almost 500 milliamps into the battery, and this one measures about 50 milliamps, and this one. 37 so yeah, 30 to 40 but clearly not 500 so how can you trust this device right so the verdict is i cannot recommend this snr m sn what's on the screen here i really cannot recommend this charge controller here the controller may work, but in combination with the app and showing you wrong figures here all the time, it's not reliable, it's not working correctly, so I have to send this one back. That's a thumbs down. Bye bye fancy solar charge controller which looked good on the paper but disappointed in real life. You're going back to somewhere. Yeah, I thought I'd make this quick update video about this claim I had with AliExpress and share my experience as well. So really good that they have an address here in Australia and I don't have to send it back to China because this would clearly be more than $100 and well, and far too expensive to send this one back, right? All right, that's all I have today. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. Well, it says here on the address label AU Australia return AE for AliExpress. So I assume they have like return centers in each country now. Is this correct?